Today marks the second anniversary of one of the deadliest school shootings in American history. Families of Uvalde shooting victims filed lawsuits against companies they say bear responsibility for products used by the gunman. WGN Shannon Halligan is here with more on this. Shannon. Yeah, the families are suing a social media platform, the maker of a popular video game, and the gun company that made the assault rifle used in the shooting. This adds to the mounting number of lawsuits over the attack that killed 19 fourth graders and two teachers. It's been two years since a gunman stormed into a fourth grade classroom at Uvalde Elementary School. Community members gathered for a bell ringing and butterfly release at a local church. It's been an unbearable two years. We all know who took our children's lives, but there was an obvious systemic failure out there. Justice and accountability has always been my main concern. We've been let down so many times. The time has come to do the right thing. Now, family members of 19 of the victims killed that day are filing lawsuits over what they called failures in the system. These were the last lines of defense for these children, but they were failed long before the shooting. Lawsuits have now been filed against three companies, Meta Platforms, which owns Instagram, the maker of the video game Call of Duty, and Daniel Defense, which manufactured the AR-style rifle used in the 2022 shooting. The lawsuits claim the shooter played versions of the video game since he was 15, and the families accused Instagram of doing little to enforce its rules that ban marketing firearms and harmful content to children. Some of the same families filed a $500 million lawsuit against Texas state police officials and officers earlier in the week. They said more than 100 state police officers were part of the botched response to the shooting, where officers waited more than an hour to confront the shooter inside the classroom. Most immediately um, against the state of Texas, which has done nothing at all but burden this town before the shooting by not giving them the resources they need, prevented these families from getting the information they need, and then blaming blaming the city. A video game industry trade group pushed back on blaming games for violence, arguing research has found no link. A criminal investigation into the police response is ongoing. A grand jury was summoned this year, and some law enforcement officials have already been called to testify in that. All right, Shannon, thank you so much for the update.